Onivia, League of Legends highlights. So we a little bit buffed on this patch, but I don't think that's what you want in this draft. Will be the Akali here. And even though this one is straight up, it seems like with this Jax pick, the most likely pick you're going to do, but it does allow you a little bit more time to potentially affect your lanes with that buff. Yeah. Youngjae comes over here, way up in the lane, Envy. Uh, oh, Kyle in a little bit of trouble. He is going to blow the flash. The flash comes in from Youngjae, though, as he's not quite able to get the kill. And here comes the counter gank now from the side of Willer, who does have double buff. He just picked up that red, is now heal. Going to be used on the side of Kwangdong. And Youngjae doesn't have flash anymore, so first blood goes to the Caitlyn. And Envy's feeling pretty nice about this. And I think that definitely comes down to himself and also the coaching staff supporting him through his hard times. So it's nice to see him in a position like this on the Caitlyn, just running straight into Jin Ash, looking for the plays. As Taehyun, they're trying to force his blast, but the root still comes down. And that is going to be another kill for the Caitlyn. And is Envy looking for a little bit more? He can't come over here and stop these ganks from happening. He can't shadow the lane. And Kwangdo Freaks, not respecting the fact that Drake is up. You want to make a play like this so you can actually start stacking these Drakes early in the Caitlyn lane. So huge opportunity here to grab another summoner, take a kill. Barrier is just a nice bonus, but this should be free Drake going over to Live Sandbox. And because it is the Chemtech to start things off, Chances are the soul's more vision control. Youngjae taking a very nice pathing here all the way around. Has six and flashback available. Yeah, a little bit of an opportunity here. There is the arrow and the flash in front. Kyle says no, and NB still dies. But it was really cool. Oh man, <laughs> double kill. Kyle, you know he has this star bar, so it is a very awkward herald to take for both of these teams right now. Yeah, I mean, speaking of which, Youngjae's here again. There's zero vision for the side of Live Sandbox. Uh, for all they know, Sejuani could be in that brush, and guess what? She is. Now, Willer is coming down here, but it might not matter, as again, Kyle's going to get in front, but this time he has to die for it, as they're trying to get on top of Envy, but here is Willer looking for the follow-up, as Envy will be dodging those, as Willer does get in front, but the damage, not quite enough, and he will get frozen and killed at the end of the trade. It's a heroic going to actually amount to it. They do save Envy. A oh, little trade here, big wave, but Dudu's just going forward, says he can't really get out. There's the stun, and there's Dudu getting a solo kill. And Birdall, you can see it on his... opted in. to close the gap there. Yeah, and there was a lot. It, it felt very forced, right? Like, when you watch that trade again, like, even the wallop misses. He Bye, is going for it when he's down a lot of it, so they're just going to back away. They say, well, maybe next time. That's totally fine. As an arrow straight into the Gnar as under the turret, Dudu is looking for the kill. He's not going to get it, and down he will go, baited in by the Ash Arrow. Found some is burning. So are they just going to give this one away? I mean, the timing on the Mega Gnar was somewhat forced almost. There was a lot of damage coming out from the side of Guangdong, but you mentioned the poke. I mean, Envy are anymore, so they're just going to teleport closer up to the top side, but that is way behind the play as Dudu had a free lane in the bottom side. The Sandbox definitely kind of floundering around there, and they're going to give away a lot to the yeah, side of Graf when you're behind like this against the poke damage. And I think it's the right call to actually not force heavily, but if you're not going to force, maybe realize earlier and try to get a cross <laughs> map because you lose your entire bottom <laughs> turret here too. He's trying to blow somebody up. But with this much vision coverage, like Kwangna Freaks have really choked them out of this game. They have an Ash too, so there are just no secrets. Okay. Nice sidestep from yeah. Envy. Didn't have to use or do anything really. So, I mean, what, what is your angle here as Live Sandbox? You're relying on Narbar. Uh oh. Oh, no. Yeah, here comes the poke. And oh, Envy not going to do the same for Kyle that Kyle did for him. And Envy also going to get poked out. And, you know, oftentimes when we have a lot of team fighting and sometimes the Jin doesn't do as much damage as other hyper carries, everybody is, you know, moaning and groaning. But we will point here. And we're looking at a 4,000 gold lead now. Birdall has been very invisible this game because he hasn't been able to set up. Eliminates the Wukong flank. And it's just kind of a checkmate game. So here we go. They're trying to get Something. on top of Young Jay as Young Jay trying to help out June. Very nice assault over the wall, but Envy's able to sneak in a little ace in the hole. Right early on in the game. You get a kill here, but what does it mean if you can't get anything from it? Tayun, <laughs> uh. Gotta be careful, buddy. This time he's got Gale Force to get out. As now we've got a teleport flank. Taeyun is just dead, as the positioning was not good. 
there in the mid lane. Big arrow into into the uh, flame horizon of vision score here that June is making up. <laughs> As now we're trying to get on top of Bulldog. Feels like the first time I've seen the Azir use buttons in this game. As closer is going to get in there and kill him, but. Might be able to get out here. He gets a big heal and a big shield, and Closer went on an assassination mission and gets sniped by Tayun. This time, Kyo not able to get in front of them. are getting in position. We do have Meganar actually at an important time now as in goes Young Tay. Nobody denies him, and this fight is so early from the side of Willer, and this time he gets it stolen away. Young Tay will go down in the end, but absolutely the better trade for Kwangdong. Live Sandbox now losing control of the mid lane here. A TP going bottom side. Quantum Freaks just trying to take this despite losing control of their team. Not having a jungler here, like being down a member. Just saying, okay, we're going to push these lanes so that we can have buy enough time. Is Dudu will he get away? Nice. Yeah, well, Closer's trying to go in, but a little bit out of position he was. A bulldog trying to poke away. You see Meganar is in here. Bertol is trying to do something, but he just immediately gets pushed away as, yes, the Infernal Drake will go the way of Liv Sandbox. Is now Kyle going to get sniped out of vision. A nice shot from Taeyun, but... With his jack, so they had to try to rush it early. It's kind of backfiring here a little bit as Kwangdom Freaks, not getting the objectives on their terms, but getting this Baron and then winning the fight means they can take two inhibitors down. So it's a win at the end of the day. And this gold lead with all these turrets going down has ballooned. The last little bit here with this last push as Willer's got a great angle, able to get behind Young Jay flashes on top of Tayun, even has a stopwatch as that should be enough to keep him alive as now the sweep just misses everything. And Bulldog now is in a terrible spot. Down he will go. And the push maybe went on for a couple seconds. Baron, and like I said, if you're the one on Soul Point, you can't afford to do these trades. And this is just a lot of the map being unlocked once again here. The question is, you know, they can't afford to do it. Yeah, they're definitely going to try to push in with the Baron and try to end the game before the Infernal Soul comes up. That will definitely make it worth it. Envy in a very bad spot, but he does have the stopwatch. No flash in this case, but still is enough. Look at the poke damage now that's coming out from the Jin, from the Azir. And they are going to take down all of these inhibitors. This composition from Kwangdong Freaks just had such a clear identity and it was utilized so well. All right, here comes Closer. He's trying to do it all by himself as he takes an incredible amount of damage. And it goes Bulldog. He's going to take him out. This should be the end of the game as Dudu is just terrorizing people in the backside as well. As he's got that turret on him, but he does not care. Down will go the Nexus. Kwangdong able to push in and end at 37 minutes. CV Max, man, he makes a draft. He says we get...